Hello, by doing a quick search on how to play Diablo 2 with Hamacha, it often says to completely turn off Windows Firewall, which could be dangerous and unnecessary. So please, let me show you how to play Diablo 2 with Hamacha without fully disabling the firewall. There's only one option in the firewall that will need to be adjusted. Before we get into it, you can see on the screen the versions that I was using. This will still work on many other versions, but it's something to keep in mind. Maybe you will need to adjust something. Also, there will be timestamps in the description, so feel free to skip around to the parts you're interested in. This will be a three part video series. This is the introduction and part one video. Here I will explain not only how to configure the firewall, but also I will briefly explain how to play Diablo 2 with Hamach in general. That's not the point of the video, but should be helpful. And if you happen to get stuck, there's a bunch of other vid videos already on the topic. It's actually quite a simple process though. In part two, I will provide a script to do these steps shown in part one automatically. That is configuring the firewall and more. And if something doesn't work after watching part two, or if you're just interested what's inside the provide the scripts line by line, you can watch part three. All right, so let's get on with part one and just install Diablo 2 first. Now that we installed Diablo, we need to install how much. It's pretty easy, so I'm just going to fast forward this. After Hamachi is installed, run it, press the blue power button, register if you haven't, and log in. After that is done, create a new network. I also like to disable Hamachi from running when the computer starts, but it's optional, you don't have to do it. This works for me because I use Hamachi only for Diablo and I don't want to have it running any other time. If you want to skip this part, just press on the timestamp. So if you want to do this too, just open Task Manager, go to Startup and disable Hamachi. This most likely won't be enough as Hamachi service still starts up automatically along with Hamachi client, so we need to set the service startup type as manual as well. Open Windows Services. Find Logmin Hamachi service. and set the startup type to manual. Keep in mind that if the Hamachi service is stopped, you might get an error when trying to run the Hamachi client. Let me show you. All you need to do to fix this is run the Hamachi service manually like this. It's a bit of a bothersome process, so you can just skip this part if you want, or you could just watch part two of the series where I show you how to do all this automatically. Anyway, on your other computer, join the existing network you previously created. As we do that, we can see the host already on the network. Jumping back to the host computer, here comes the main part of the video where we configure the firewall. 
you will need to do this part on both computers, not only on the host computer. There are sometimes exceptions, but generally you will need to do this on both. Usually when you watch other videos on how to do this part, they will disable firewall altogether, which is not needed or safe. We will only need to adjust one option. So in Windows search, just type in Windows Defender Firewall. And go to Advanced Settings. Go to Properties and then Public Profile. Click on Customize and uncheck how much. If you don't see Hamachi in the list, make sure that the Hamachi client is online, that is, the big blue power button is pressed, and then press and customize again. As you click OK, Windows might warn you that the firewall is turned off, but in reality it's only the Hamachi option that's turned off. Make sure you do the firewall part on your friend's computer as well, but yeah, the host's computer is ready, so just boot up Diablo. Go to Multiplayer, TCP IP Game, and Host a Game. Day. Now on your friend computer make sure you do the firewall part that I showed you before. Then make sure you're on the same network as the host. And then write down somewhere the Hamachi IP of the host. It's the one that I underlined here. Of course yours will be a bit different. Now you can run Diablo, go to other multiplayer, TCP IP game, join game, and type in the host's Hamachi IP address that you wrote down just a moment ago. That's it, now you should be able to play Diablo together, but after you're done playing, you should reset the firewall to the way it was before. To do this, just check the Hamachi box again, keep in mind that it has to be running and online, or there's a couple more ways that I'm just going to show you in a moment, so choose whatever works for you. You can also do this by clicking Restore Settings here. or by clicking Use Recommended Settings here. And now you can see that Hamachi is automatically checked. That's it for part 1, happy playing! If you want a script that will do all this automatically, that is boot up Hamachi, configure the firewall, run Diablo, reset the firewall and close Hamachi, and to understand what the script does line by line, then you can stick around further as we delve into part 2 of the series.